Let's take a look at number 11 from practice three, solving proportions given different units. The question says, Moses can run two laps in 14 minutes. If he keeps this pace, how many laps will he have run in three fourths of an hour? So what is our trigger? The trigger is that we were given three values and we are looking for a fourth. So we're gonna go ahead and set up our ratios. All right, so what are our values describing? Well, two is describing laps, 14 is describing minutes, and three fourths is describing hours. So that lets me know initially that I'm dealing with different units and some type of conversion has to occur. So we're going to set up what we have first and then we'll do the conversion from there. All right, so we have laps. Oh, that's crazy. I closed the red marker and then picked the same marker up again. <laughs> All right, so we have laps up top on the left. Laps up top on the right. All right, we have minutes here. Now the difference is we have an hour here. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and fill in our values. So we have two laps, 14 minutes, and then we wanna know how many laps in three fourths of an hour. All right, so of course, we can change minutes to hours, we can change hours to minutes. Normally it's easier just to change hours to minutes because we would end up with another fraction here and we don't, of course we don't want um, a fraction, right? All right, so three fourths of an hour is going to be 45 minutes. So how do you figure that out? Well, anytime we see the word of, that means we have to multiply, right? So if we say three fourths times 60 minutes, that's gonna give us 45 minutes, all right? And then from here, we're gonna cross multiply. So you cross multiply where you have two values. So we're gonna say two times 45, which is equal to 90, and then you divide by the value that's left over. So we say 90 divided by 14. It's gonna give us a long decimal, like 6.428, it's gonna keep going. But this question specifies that you need to round to the nearest lap. So of course, if we're dealing in laps, we're talking about holes, so we're rounding to the nearest whole number, right? So whatever is in the ones place. So if we assess the value to the right of that, the four means the six is gonna stay the same. So six what? Six laps. All right, so of course, as you guys will always know, the process is not gonna change. Anytime I teach you guys how to keep something super simple, that process will remain no matter what they give us. So if we take a look at this question again from the top, it says Moses can run two laps in 14 minutes. If he keeps this pace, how many laps would he have run in three fourths of an hour? What's your trigger? We're given three values and we're looking for a fourth, so that means we need to set up our ratios. All right, so let's identify our values. We're given two, 14, and three fourths. All right, so what does that mean? What are they describing? What are our units? Well, two is describing laps, 14 is describing minutes, and three-fourths is describing hours. Because I have that discrepancy, I have three different units, that means I'm gonna do some type of conversion. So of course, we're always looking for what's related. Well, I know minutes and hours both represent time. So that's how I knew to put both of those in the bottom and to put my laps up top. So of course, we go in and fill in our units. The equal sign reminds you that the units have to match across. So of course, laps up top. And then in this case, we put time on the bottom before we did our conversion, all right? And of course, you can do it either way. You can convert minutes to hours or hours to minutes. It doesn't really matter. I always just like to go from hours to minutes because it's a little bit easier. All right, so once we did our conversion, then we're back in our normal process of cross multiply where you have two values. We said two times 45, and that gave us 90. Divide by the value that's left over. That gave us 6.428 and a whole bunch of other numbers. But this question specified to round to what? The nearest lap, which is the same thing as the nearest whole number. So in this case, we ended up with six.